Hey guys, this is Coda to the rescue and today we're going to get started on the sneaker bot project. If you are a beginner in Python or you want to do a side project or you want to cop those wonderful Yeezys or you want to do web scraping or learn web scraping in Python, you've come to the right place because we're just going to get started to develop this project from scratch. So what I'm going to do is let's head over to the Adidas website and I'm going to go to men originals and we see a bunch of shoes here so i'm just going to select the first one and i want you guys to look at this url because this is what our bot is gonna hit so what we have in the url is this part is pretty consistent then we have the name of the shoe which is superstar shoes and then we have a model number after that and I just have another one open just to see that we are being consistent and that is true this part remains constant then we have the name of the shoes and then we have the model number so first things first let us look into the code to generate this URL now if you're a beginner in Python don't worry about it because I would be guiding you through the code and make you understand and then you can like look at the syntax later on so what we have here is that this is our function a function is basically a small part of code which executes independently and then we're calling it from URL gen product we're passing in an, the name of the shoes we're looking at and its model number so these two values go here and then URL is a variable where I'm actually generating the URL so I have https editas.ca slash en which is this part then I'm adding or appending the name which gets passed from here. Then I add a slash. Then I add a model number and then I have .html. And uh, voila, we have this URL ready in just one line of code. I'm just printing it out to the console so that we see that we have the URL. And that is pretty much it. Nothing much interesting here. Next, what we're going to look at is okay so we reach here then we select the size we add it to bag so i have added three products to bag with different sizes because what we want to do now is that we select different sizes and if you look closely here the url doesn't remain the same for the size 4 the size 4.5 and the size 5 as you can see the size 4 is 530 then this is 540 then this is 550. The rest of the things are pretty consistent. Till here, we already have the URL. Then we have a question mark for cell size is equal to. Then we add the same model number here. And then we have this weird looking number, which we're going to learn how to generate. So basically, 4 is the smallest size in the shoes. And we see that the URL is 530. Then I go on to look at another size which is 4.5 and I see everything remains the same and this gets increased to 540 and then just to confirm what I saw I'm just going to look at the size 5 and then I see oh it increased to 550 so basically for every 0.5 increase in the size of the shoe my value is increasing from 530 by 10 points so this is basically the logic behind it behind generating this URL so what we're going to do is we're going to step into the code and see how we can do this so here i am going to gen create this function called url gen with size and i'm passing the same parameters here the shoes and then the model number and then the size i want so basically my base is 530 for a shoe size of 4 which is here right and then for every 0.5 increase in size I want to increase the base by 10. So basically, if I select 4.5, then I'm going to do 4.5 minus 4 is 0 0.5. And then I'm going to multiply that by 20 to get an increase of 10. And similarly, if this number is 5, this becomes 1, we increase it by 20. If it's 5.5, we make this 1.5, we increase it by 30. So we have a base, which is 530, and then this increased to 530 plus 20, which is equal to 550 for a size 5. So hope that makes sense. And now we have the final size, which represents this number. Now constructing this URL is again trivial. What we do, we, we get a variable, we add this part, which remains consistent, the name, the model number, 
then this part of the string, then we add the model number again, and then we add in the final size we have with the base plus the increment value depending on the size we pass. So I'm converting it explicitly to a string because our URL is a string type. And finally, we have this URL generated as well. Good. And I'm just printing the URL here. Now let us check that this code works. So I'm just going to play it and we see that we have what we want. I click on it, it opens and we are pretty set. And as you see, this opened up with a size of five and here it's saying select size. So pretty good. Now, basically these are just two functions. How are we going to do the entire project with this? So basically how our code flow is going to work is we're going to go to this URL, the first one, which pops up. And then our, our code actually shows us what sizes are available. So it's going to tell us, okay, four, 4.5, 5, 7, 7.5, 7 these sizes are available. And then we're going to select the size and then call our second function URL gen with size. So this is going to become a variable and we're going to pass that into this URL gen with size and then this is going to get called. So basically right now what we are doing, we are always doing it for five, six, seven. But for example, if seven doesn't exist or is out of stock, this is not going to show here. And uh, then basically our bot would fail because it won't find the place where it wants to go with the size. So basically what we are doing is we're going to run this function, click on this URL, go here you're going to see all the sizes which are available. Then you're going to select the size from the sizes which are available. And then we are going to call the URL gen with size function. So how we're going to do that? We're going to write another function def check stock. And if you want to see how this works, you would have to wait for my next video. And um, yeah, we're just going to write this function in the next video. So stay tuned. Hope you like this. Please write down in the comments what you feel if you ran into any problems. And if you haven't installed Python and PyCharm, you can see another one of my videos where I go through the steps to install it without any errors. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, once again, this is a sneaker bot tutorial in Python, which is going to automate the entire process from um, your putting in the size and the name of the shoe and the model to its purchase within seconds. And uh, once again, thanks again for watching. Hope you have a nice day ahead.